Hello everyone and welcome back to some more esports talk. A bit of a different format of video today, we are going to be covering the story of Halo so far. Halo Infinite has been on fire ever since the multiplayer beta dropped, with Halo esports just racking up massive W's with a huge viewership for their HDS events. But with the official release of the game and the Halo campaign today, now is the perfect time to catch up on the lore and take a look back at Halo, the story so far. And to be clear, this is all about the story of Halo in the Halo games. The personal story of Master Chief himself is so deep that we are saving that for a whole other video. Halo Combat Evolve started with the Pillar of Autumn, a United Nations Space Command warship exiting slip space, the alternate dimension used for faster than light space travel in the Halo universe, after retreating from the Fall of Reach, a human colony that had been attacked and destroyed by aliens known as the Covenant. The survivors in the Pillar of Autumn come across a Halo, a massive ring world created by an ancient race of technologically advanced aliens called the Forerunners. While the human survivors examine the Halo, they're found by the Covenant, who attack their ship and threaten to overrun them, forcing a Spartan named John 117, better known as Master Chief, to escape the ship with the Pillar of Autumn's AI, Cortana, who contained information like the location of Earth that the Covenant could not be allowed to have. Along with a team of surviving marines, Master Chief manages to rescue the captain of the Pillar of Autumn from a Covenant ship and uncover the fact that Halos are actually massive weapons that the Covenant consider to be sacred. While investigating on Halo, the Master Chief encounters another alien race called the Flood, who are so dangerous that they can affect and assimilate entire galaxies, which triggers a Halo's AI-343 Guilty Spark to team up with Master Chief to activate Halo and destroy the Flood which 343 says is Halo's original purpose. Just before the Master Chief activates Halo, Cortana discovers that the way Halo will defeat the Flood is to deprive them of their food source, basically killing every living being in the galaxy to starve them and prevents Halo from activating. With the Flood threatening to overrun the Halo installation and infecting the remaining USNC troops and Covenant warriors, Master Chief and Cortana decide to destroy it by manually overloading the reactors on the Pillar of Autumn, triggering a massive explosion and destroying the ship and the entire installation while narrowly escaping themselves aboard a smaller longsword class vessel. In Halo 2, we learn more about the Covenant, with the leader of their fleet that failed to prevent Master Chief from destroying Halo, which they worship as a sacred artifact built by the Forerunners, who they see as their gods. This former elite commander is given the mark of shame and takes up the role of the Arbiter, a warrior who must seek redemption through completing seemingly impossible tasks. The first task being the assassination of a Covenant heretic which the Arbiter manages to accomplish, but not before coming across a surviving 343 Guilty Spark, the Halo AI, who reveals that the Covenant leaders are lying to their elites about the true purpose of the Halo installation. During this time, the Master Chief is sent to kill another Covenant leader called the Prophet of Regret, whose invasion force is attacking Earth. The USNC drive off the invasion force but leave the Earth city of New Mombasa devastated by the retreating Covenant forces before Master Chief follows them on a frigate captained by Miranda Keys, whose father was the captain of the Pillar of Autumn. They follow the Prophet of Regret's forces to a new Halo installation that the Prophet intends to activate. Thinking it will ascend his people to godhood like the Forerunners, Master Chief manages to track down and kill the Prophet before this happens, but is forced to flee into a lake when the Arbiter's forces arrive and glass the entire area, leaving the Master Chief to be dragged into the depths by an unknown creature. The Arbiter and his elites are then blamed for the death of the Prophet, causing the elites protecting other Covenant Prophets to be replaced by Brutes, an aggressive alien race that is also part of the Covenant's empire, and constantly battling for a position with the elites. When the Arbiter is sent to recover the Activation Index, which was the key to reactivating the Halo installation, fighting with Captain Keys, who has grabbed the Index in Master Chief's absence, but the Arbiter is betrayed by Tartarus, the Chief of the Brutes, who takes the Index for himself, hurling the Arbiter into a huge pit. The Arbiter is saved from his fall by the same creature that dragged away the Master Chief, the living intelligence behind the galaxy-devouring Flood. The Gravemind reveals that the true purpose of the Halo to the Arbiter, showing him their galaxy-destroying power and forcing him into an uneasy alliance with the Master Chief to keep the Covenant from activating it. The Gravemind sends them both to stop Halo from activating, since it would kill all of his Flood minions as well, ending in a brutal confrontation with Tartarus, whose brutes have taken command of the Covenant military. While Master Chief and the Arbiter manage to stop the activation of Halo just in time, 343 Guilty Spark appears and reveals that this has triggered a failsafe, 
priming the remaining five Halo installations for remote activation from a place called the Ark. The game ends with the Gravemind and thousands of his flood troopers in possession of a Covenant ship, when suddenly Cortana appears in the front of the Gravemind, who says he has many questions that she must answer for him and Cortana seems to agree. Weeks later, Halo 3 begins with the Master Chief and the Arbiter still working together to prevent one of the remaining Covenant Prophets from activating a dangerous Forerunner artifact on Earth. During their fight, the Prophet activates a portal and escapes as a ship infested with Flood crashes nearby, forcing the Elites who follow the Arbiter to glass the area to prevent them from infecting Earth. Master Chief and the Arbiter come across a recording of Cortana in the wreckage of the Flood ship, informing them that the Gravemind is bringing an army of the Flood to Earth, and Master Chief believes her, leading his forces through the portal and after the fleeing Prophet of Truth. The portal leads Master Chief and the Arbiter to the Ark, where the Prophet of Truth is trying to activate the remaining Halo rings remotely. The Prophet takes Avery Johnson, a Marine who has served with Master Chief since the Pillar of Autumn, as a hostage since the Forerunner technology that activates the Halo rings needs a human interface. When Captain Keys is killed trying to rescue Johnson, the Marine is forced to activate these Halo rings by the Prophet of Truth, just as Gravemind and his Flood Forces land at the Ark. Gravemind forges a temporary alliance with Master Chief and the Arbiter, allowing them to kill the Prophet and rescue Johnson before he can be used to fully activate the Halo rings. But with the danger to his flood forces now contained, Gravemind again turns on the heroes, sending his flood troops against them. Master Chief and the Arbiter come up with a plan to activate a ring being constructed inside the Ark to replace the one destroyed by the Master Chief. By triggering this under construction halo before it's ready, it will cause a much smaller scale explosion that would simply wipe out the Ark and all the flood in it and not the entire galaxy. However, 343 Guilty Spark, who has been traveling with Master Chief, refuses to take part in destroying the recreation of his ring and kill Johnson to try and prevent the activation. The Chief manages to trigger the activation anyways, destroying the Ark and the Flood on the planet, but a ship doesn't quite escape to the portal in time, with the front half containing the Arbiter making it back through the Earth, but the back half being cut off in the portal collapsed from the blast, leaving Master Chief stranded in space. Master Chief, realizing it may be years before any rescue attempt could even find them, puts himself into a cryo sleep in the remnant of his ship, telling Cortana to wake him when she needs him. Halo 4 starts, shockingly, with Cortana waking up Master Chief because she needs him, as the remnants of their ship, Forward Unto Dawn, has crash-landed on an unknown Forerunner planet named Requiem, and she has begun to experience rampancy, the kind of insanity that smart AIs begin to experience after they have exceeded their usual seven-year lifespan. To make matters worse, a splinter faction of the Covenant has also crash-landed on Requiem, and the USNC ship Infinity has picked up the garbled distress signal from the Forward Unto Dawn and is in danger of crashing into the planet as well during their search. While trying to find a way to communicate with the USNC ship, Master Chief accidentally releases the Didact, an ancient Forerunner warrior sealed away on the planet. Detecting the humans on the USNC vessel, the Didact decides mankind is unworthy and takes control over the Covenant on the planet as well as his Forerunner warriors, called Prometheans, to attack the ship. While Master Chief is able to help the ship repel the Didact's forces, it turns out the planet has a gravity well, which is the cause of all these crashed ships, and the Chief must deactivate it so the Infinity can escape. While destroying the gravity well, another Forerunner, called the Librarian, reveals that she is the wife of the Didact and had trapped him on the planet after he began capturing humans and converting them into Promethean warriors, who would be immune to the Flood's infection using a device called the Composer. The Librarian uses their power to accelerate the already enhanced evolution of Master Chief, making him immune to the Composer so that he can track down and contain the Didact once more. After refusing to retreat with the Infinity, Master Chief and a badly malfunctioned Cortana follow Didact's forces to a research station near another Halo installation, where the Composer has been uncovered and kept, but are unable to keep the Didact from getting his hands on the artifact and sending his forces towards Earth. The Master Chief is finally able to subdue the Didact, knocking the Forerunner into a subspace portal like the one that led him to the Ark. The Composer is still alive and threatening to convert every human on Earth into a Promethean. The Master Chief detonates a nuclear warhead to destroy the Composer, but is saved as Cortana sacrifices herself to protect his life. While Master Chief is being shown being rescued from the wreckage elsewhere, 
The didact has survived his trip through the portal and proclaims that humanity is the greatest threat in the galaxy and the Forerunners must deal with them. Halo 5 Guardians begins with the Fireteam Osiris, a squad of new generation Spartan 4s sent to retrieve Dr. Halsey, the rogue scientist who created the Spartan 2 program that created Master Chief, who claims she has knowledge of future attacks against humanity. While this is going on, Master Chief leads Fireteam Blue, which is comprised of the only other surviving Spartan 2s, the older generation of genetically enhanced soldiers that the Chief belongs to, on a mission to secure a research station. But during that mission, the Chief receives a cryptic message from Cortana, who seems to have survived using Forerunner technology. The Chief and his Blue Team go AWOL after the mission as they try and track down Cortana despite being ordered to return by the captain of their ship, who doesn't trust the AI now that she has integrated Forerunner technology. Fireteam Osiris is sent after the Chief's blue team, eventually catching up with them on the colony under attack by Prometheans. The leader of Fireteam Osiris, Locke, orders Master Chief to stand down and return, but is defeated in hand-to-hand -hand combat by the Chief, allowing blue team to escape onto a massive Forerunner weapon called the Guardian, which teleports them to the Forerunner planet where Cortana is waiting. Fireteam Osiris is forced to join forces with the Arbiter to board another massive Guardian weapon on the Elite's home planet, which takes him to the same Forerunner world as the Master Chief. However, it is revealed that Cortana has been developing a plan for galactic peace by using the Guardians to destroy the military capabilities of all the galaxy's races. Knowing the huge loss of life this would cause, the Master Chief tries to talk Cortana out of it, but winds up getting imprisoned by the AI along with the rest of the Blue Team. Fireteam Osiris manages to free Blue Team by using the planet's existing AI, named Exuberant Witness, who is afraid of what the rogue AI Cortana might be attempting. While Fireteam Osiris and Blue Team do manage to escape, they cannot do anything about Cortana, who has left the planet on one of the massive Guardian weapons and has started getting AIs from across the galaxy to swear loyalty to her and her plan for forcibly disarming the galaxy. The final image we see is Cortana coming to herself on board one of the Guardians as a Halo ring begins to power up. And that is what has happened in Halo so far. Will Master Chief find a way to stop his old friend Cortana from using the galaxy's AIs to kill billions in the name of peace? I'm not sure, but we will certainly be grabbing our copy of Halo Infinite today to try to find that out. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.